The traffic will become even worse. The only way to solve traffic jams is to restrict car use. And the most obvious way of restricting car use is restricting parking. People seem to imagine that parking is a right, almost a fundamental right, to be included in the United Nations Charter. In our Constitution, there are many rights. The right to housing, the right to education, the right to health, but I don't find the right to park. I don't see any constitution which includes the right to park. So if you ask me where you should park, the mayor can tell them. It's almost as if you ask me where you should put your food or your clothes. This is not a government problem. Before I was mayor, I have never been in a city which hated itself more than Bogotá. There was a total lack of self-esteem and lack of hope. So when I was elected mayor, we started investing in people, in sidewalks, in parks, in great schools, in libraries. And also we created a bus-based public transport system. such as a subway line. Then may, you may find that the new center in a matter of 20 or 30 years is somewhere else where the subway line doesn't go. This system is very powerful symbol of democracy. The first article in every constitution says that, the first article in every 